Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Shattered Pixel Dungeon, a traditional roguelike that I've been wanting to check out for a very long time. It's out on other platforms. I've been waiting for it to come to Steam on PC. It's been in development for eight years, and everybody who has played it seems to swear by it. So let us check it out here as a part of uh, the demos for the Steam Next Fest. So let's pop on in. Warrior? I believe uh, maybe these other ones won't be in the demo, or maybe we got to unlock them. Not sure. Let's just pop on in. Many heroes have ventured into the dungeon before you from the city above. Most have never been heard from again. It is said that an ancient evil lurks in the depths, guarding the almighty amulet of Yendor. Even now, dark energy radiates from below, making its way up to the city. Will you conquer the dungeon and claim the amulet? It's time to start your own adventure. The upper floors of the dungeon actually constitute the city's sewer system. As dark energy has crept up from the below, the usually harmless sewer creatures have become more and more dangerous. The city sends guards pa guard patrols down here to try and maintain safety for those above, but they are slowly failing. This place is dangerous, but at least the evil magic at work here is weak. We have a little sailor outfit going on. Look at us. Oh, we actually have, like, little character animations. I know that that's not, like, <laughs> a big thing. Greetings, adventurer. You're reading the Tome of Dungeon Mastery. This book is full of tips and tricks to help budding adventurers survive and excel. This guide is best used as reference and will magically let you know when it's the best time to read each page. Ah. Of course, you can still read it all at once if you prefer. Okay. When the journal at the top right icon uh, blinks, the guidebook has something to tell you. Some pages seem to be ripped out of the book, though. Perhaps you can find them in the dungeon. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, let's move on in. So traditional roguelikes, I love the genre. Boy, they are intentionally, like, they have a lot going on in them, and we will probably miss a lot of stuff, but the joy of them is typically figuring things out. So let's see here. How do we want to... Is there some kind of bonus we get to attacking on water there? I'm not so sure. But let's see here. I mean, you know, like it said, it'll tell us when um, when there's things to learn. So hopefully... I mean, is this a trap down there? Hello. Hello, Mr. Rat. Oh, look at the little, uh, the little splatter there. I'm trying to see if we can fight him on the water. Because sometimes games get... Uh, can we attack at a, at a diagonal? We can. Okay. Sometimes games give you like a little bit of an advantage if you're attacking an enemy in water or something. We got a potion. Contains a swirling colorful liquid. Who knows what it'll do when drunk or thrown? I don't know what it did. Chilled. Okay, it's a chilling potion for now. I mean, let's just throw these, right? Throw them and get a test. Shatters and the liquid splashes harmlessly. So that one might have been a one that was fine to drink. But if we find another, then we will just, you know, go for it. Am I invisible? What's going on here? Okay. What the hell am I getting? Oh, a dewdrop for my water skin. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Are we... So we have... Is this water or is that our experience? Right, I'm going to fill it up for now. Can we fill this up? I mean, okay, we're drinking it. Maybe it's a heal. I don't know. We shall see. I can't quite tell if this has been blinking or not due to the fact that it's... It's in a spot that's covered up by my mic here. We got... Scroll of Yngwie. Let's do it. Upgrade an item. Sure, I'm going to upgrade my sailor outfit. Okay, sneak up on him. Sneak up on him. Bang! What do you got for me? Ooh. Talisman of Foresight. You f a smooth stone with strange engravings on it. You feel like it's watching everything around you, keeping an eye out for anything hidden. I'll equip that. Okay. So maybe there's going to be... It'll help me either with stealth 
enemies or what? I'm not entirely sure. Is this? Okay, it is. Yeah. All right. I wanted to find out. Lesson learned. It is indeed a trap. I imagine we can probably just like wait to get our health back, but what's the wait button in this space? Yep. And in, in indeed, it is indeed. Snake ranged attack, perchance? Nope. Get wrecked. I'm very curious to see what happens when we level up, because that's a lot of times where traditional roguelikes... I will say the movements and the, like, the little tiny animations are very fluid. But yeah, that's typically where traditional roguelikes get their unique flavor. I've found, more so than other places, is how do they handle character progression. Okay, so we got a level up of sorts. You're guaranteed to hit an enemy if you surprise them by attacking them outside of their view, or right as you enter their view. Even the most evasive of enemies cannot dodge a surprise attack. They can't dodge one, which makes them very useful against enemies like wraiths and snakes. One of the most common parts of the environment you can use to surprise enemies is a door. If an enemy chases you through one, you can turn around as they enter and catch them by surprise. All right. Hungry. Slowly decreases as you spend time in the dungeon. Eventually, you begin to starve. While starving, you'll slowly lose health instead of regenerating. Rationing is important. Okay, so is this a ration? I'm hungry. Am I, like, am I starving? I'm not missing any health right now, and I'm not starting to lose any, so I'm not too worried about it now, but I am wasting time by going through all these places. Next. Okay, here we go, here we go. Reach level 6 to unlock more talents. Iron Will? I don't know what any of these do. Test Subject? Arms Master's Intuition? Oh, oh, we can click it. Okay. Warrior identifies weapons and armor two times faster. Whenever the warrior identifies an item, he heals for two HP. Max shield provided by the warrior's seal is increased by one. The warrior's seal? Do I have an ability game? You want to tell me about that? Page missing. This is like the all of the items. Gotcha. Examining. Rushing into enemies almost never the best way to deal with them. It's important to take your time to study opponents and surroundings so that you can learn best how to defeat them. Examining things also takes no time, so it's best to get into the habit of doing it with everything that you encounter. Gotcha. Gotcha. That is handy. Handling defeat. I like how that's one of the ones you can you get really early there. Step in the water to extinguish fire. Gotcha. Anything about this? Blocks view. What the hell's on the ground here? Wet yellowish moss. Okay. Am I am I starting to lose health? Or do I... Because this looks like a shield. Oh my god, I didn't want to go up. This almost looks like a shield. It's 25 plus 2 divided by 25. What do we have here? Seed of sungrass. Throw this throw this seed to the place where you want to grow a plant. Whoa. Okay. Pouch can store many items in it, such as seeds and rune stones. Stone of intuition. Okay. Uh, rune stone uh, holds a weak version of the magic found in scrolls of identification. Rather than directly identifying an item, it will work on your intuition, allowing you to attempt to identify the type of a potion, scroll, or ring by guessing. A correct guess will also preserve the magic in the stone, allowing it to be used a second time. Okay. That's kind of fun. Searching. Okay, dungeons are full of secret doorways and traps which appear invisible at first glance. Searching takes time, but it's very useful. Search near walls if you suspect the door is hidden around floors. Double click on the magnifying glass. Okay. So it's not by the liquid. Oh, hello. I see. Oh, hi, guy. Bang. So that should theoretically have been a guaranteed. 
Okay, looks like it gave us mapping. I don't know if it's... I really like this visual effect on the, uh, the given mapping. What is this here? Wand of Disintegration. Okay, shoots a beam that pierces any obstacle. Will go farther, more it's upgraded. Does 2 to 8 damage and will also deal bonus damage for every enemy or wall it penetrates. Okay. Okay, so I see I see how the doors can work in our favor. I am now starving, so I'm going to... Oh my god. He's a dodgy boy. What was that? Did I just get better at something? Why that? I have no idea. But I am going to now eat my ration now that we are starving. And... Okay. I've got a bunch of spear... I, I didn't mean that... I didn't mean to do it. Oh no, we're dead. Maybe we can zap him. Oh my god, it did, it did work. Okay. It does not have enough charges now. Okay, we could just leave. I did not mean to anger the spirits. I did not mean to anger the spirits. All right. Uh, I'm assuming I can't hit him with a sword, like, at all. And I'm assuming this is permanently out of charges. It sure seems like it. All right. All right. Uh, you want to help me out here? Strength. There won't be any time to train we with weapons and armor you find in the dungeon. You need to brute strength to use them effectively. Potion of strength directly enhances physical might. Important to work towards heavier, high-tier items, but don't completely ignore equipment you, you can use sooner as well. Once you're deep enough in the dungeon, you'll need high-tier gear to survive, but you have to survive long enough to equip it first. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm going to die right here because of the, uh, the little ghosty boys. Maybe if we just ditch it. Is there a chance that they're gone? No, of course there's no chance. Of course there's no chance. Let's get out of here. All right, we're, we're going to die. We're going to die, and we're going to die fast. I guess we don't know what this is. Let's throw it at him. Why not? <laughs> that's a that's a traditional roguelike experience right there for you. You better believe it. Death from fire badge. I'm happy about it. You burn to death. Start new game. Oh, we could play as the mage. What could possibly go wrong? I'm really good with fire. I'm really good with fire. Okay. Starts with a unique broken seal that generates shielding over his health. Seal can be moved between armors and transfer to a single upgrade with it. Can oh, and can transfer a single upgrade with it. Okay. Neat stuff there. Let's pop in with the mage. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to look, but hey. Handling defeat Anor. Unfortunately, dungeoneering is very dangerous profession. Well, most adventurers will eventually meet their demise. Well, luck can definitely play a role. The best adventures are the ones who use every little trick to improv improvise. Okay, well, improvise and improve their odds of success. Don't be dissuaded if you are dying a lot. You shouldn't expect to get very far in your first few tries. The game is very hard. Focus on learning the game and steadily improving. Don't focus on winning. I won't. I personally will not. What is up with our staff? Okay. So, we can hit Q, it looked like. Oh, I thought if we zapped, it would, like, you know, hit the water. How do we replenish? The fact that there's just a food ration here is really nice. Thank you. Appreciate ya. Oops, come on. Go to the journal. Is there anything about restoring mana? Not at the moment. I could assume that maybe the water skin could, or not mana, but like, uh, charges. Maybe they come back over time. I'm sure I can hit with the staff itself directly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wait, press again to search a tile to examine. Should I? Sure. I want to move slowly through the grass here. Oh. Oh, the son of a gun! I thought I surprised him. I thought I, he couldn't dodge if I surprised. Oh, we did get a charge back. Nice. It's not enough to one-shot that last remaining bit there. Rough stuff. 
So we can wait and restore our health, but we will obviously lose like a bit of food. But I think we can actually do that without too much of a worry due to the fact that we have extra ra extra rations. Hi. You would think that it's just another one of the dungeon's inanimate statues, but it's red eye glowing eyes give it away. Okay, well, the statue itself is made of stone. The kinetic dirk it's wielding looks real. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I don't think we can... Oh, wait, did we lose him? Uh-oh. Oh, he's going out through there, huh? Okay. All right. Well, anything cool in here? Nothing cool in here, huh? I'm finding nothing interesting in here. Okay. So he left through this door. Uh. Wait, did I just miss it and then it bounced off the wall? So that's pretty cool. Not charges. Run. Yeah, we can- Wow, doors are really overpowered in this. What? I've never played a traditional roguelike where doors are this strong. They're, like, exceptionally strong. We're searching for what? What do we got? Talisman of Foresight. Uh, when you hold Talisman, you feel like your senses are heightened, slowly building charge as time passes when you discover hidden doors or traps can expend its charge to scry in a cone shape, revealing all tiles and secrets in the scanned area will grant you vision of enemies and items for a short time. Gotcha. Oh, that's a trap. I thought that that was like boots. Ooh. Fancy kinetic dirk. I, we actually get it. A tier two weapon that does two to 12. Okay. Oh, hello. Can I also, yeah, I can. Oh my god, I did not mean to. Alright. Hello there. Dang! Okay, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Wait for the door. Yeah. Didn't, didn't do what I anticipated it might. Do I try these... I don't want to try them on my face. They okay, so they both seem fine. I would have thought that we would have uh, we would have been able to auto hill hill auto kill kill hill, and seven years ago, empowering meal eating food grants two bonus damage for the next three wand zaps. Identify wands three times faster. Whenever you identify an item, he gains two turns of wand recharging. Three shielding whenever using the last charge on the staff. That actually sounds quite nice. Blap. Okay, we're going to want to use our food soon. Do we have a key? Do we have a key? Uh, may contain something useful, but the owner, owner will most certainly be checking. Yeah. About that. Dealing with hunger, rationing food effectively. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did. If you pace out when you eat based off of how your health is doing, your food should last much longer. Okay, so we're looking for the, um, downstairs. There we go. Bwah! Well, hello. Did you get a surprise on me, then? Is that what I'm... Alright, you're ruining my life. Um, this is not really where I want to go. I can't lose him. Hmm. Does this heal as well? find out does not <laughs> man 
I literally just, I clicked in any random spot just to see if I could get HP back from the, the food there. And I, boy, I picked the worst spot I could have moved to. What do we got here? Upgrades. The deeper you go into the dungeon, the more important it is. You're magically, you're using magically enhanced gear, higher tier weapons and armor, gain more power from the upgrades. But you'll also need the strength to use them properly. Wands, rings, artifacts don't need strength but have limited usages or don't help as directly in combat. Making good choices about what you upgrade is one of the most important ways to set yourself up for success later in the dungeon. The most successful adventurers will end their dungeon runs with highly upgraded high-tier gear. I guess I shall upgrade this even more. When an enemy is killed with a kinetic weapon excess force sword in the weapon and will be applied to the next successful attack. Well, that's kind of nice. I don't have a matching key. A sh hidden shocking trap. Okay. Search for traps. Okay, how long does this shield last? It's another upgrade. I'll upgrade the sword even more. I'm a, I'm a wizard... But alas. So the water skin does just heal. Okay. Okay. Come on. Heals HP. You're ruining my life. Want to get magic attack or a surprise attack on him? I'm going to go for the rat. Just bop him. There we go. Uh, it's a cool room, but scary looking. Uh, what the hell? Bunch, I mean, question marks is right. Scroll of Rado. Cleanse an item. I don't think I have anything to cleanse. I don't know what that question mark business is about there. Um, I don't have a matching key. Alright, well, what do I do here, then? Start searching? What's going on here? It really seems like... Oh, hello. This question mark thing is something to figure out. Am I supposed to go in here? As you take a sip, you feel knowledge pour into your mind. Did I... Oh, I... I discovered secret items from the... Uh, or secret things strewn about. Gotcha. Is this honey? Shattered honey pot. It's been shattered, only sticky honey that lines its walls holding it together. Slowly coming apart. Despite its broken state, the bee still seems to want to protect the pot. One plus one free bomb. Great. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so we can throw those. Still have no key. There's one up here, though. Uh, we'll rap rapidly freeze the air around its location. Okay. Oh, it's a... Ch okay. So it was an AoE. So I did get uh, a little bit of a downside from it anyways. I feel like we don't want to eat our food yet. I know we're hungry, but it's... The thing is, you gotta keep in mind, it's stupid to use it if we're at full health. Not right now, basically. Unless I was thinking I'm gonna get into a long-lasting combat. Which I don't think I am. Oops. Oops. Okay, I wanna get that badly. Alright. Alright. Maybe after this fight with the rat. Oh, we're out of charges. Eh. Okay, so we got the key. Are we not losing? Yeah, we are losing health now. Is that a javelin? Throwing spear. Ooh. Oh, I, I can't rename this one? Uh, 
<laughs> Why not? All right. Uh, hello there. I'm really liking this shield thing. I know we're not like fully utilizing it right now. There's more hunger damage. What's the downside of this room here? This feels like a trap. There's lots of good stuff. Is this a heal? That is a heal. It, it really is. It seemed too good to be true. I was expecting, like, I know I died, but I died due to the silliness of the, um, the graves. This is less brutal than I thought it would be. For it, for starting out. Okay. Okay, we got all those. Let's get to up towards the exit. Identifying items, you won't know the properties of some items when you find them. The color of each potion and symbol of each scroll is different in each dungeon. Unidentified equipment can be upgraded or enchanted if you're lucky, or it might be cursed. Scrolls of identify, upgrade, or remove curse are very useful if you want to reduce the risk of using unidentified items. What's up, Orphan Bane? Has an exhausting curse. Take great effort to use and will periodically weaken the wearer as a result. Oh, man. So we don't have that um, decurse scroll, do we? This runestone will teleport the user to the location it's thrown to. Instantly explode at the location it's thrown to. Okay. This is the intuition. Um, that's right. We can, we can guess what type of... Uh, curse or benefit is on something or what kind of benefit is on something before we identify it and if we're right it's free and we can do it again it's happening here foresight you feel very nervous as if there's a nearby unseen danger oh well that's handy i don't think i ever spent my extra point here i did not but honestly i don't know if they, they don't change things particularly that much? Hmm. Yeah, they're not like, you gain the ability to backflip or anything, you know? Okay, I'm probably getting to the point where I should eat food here soon. Yeah, like I'm, I'm going. I think we pushed it pretty far. I think we pushed it pretty far. I think we have to cash out and actually do a little eating now. Uh, every non-magical attack will split it into two smaller but equally dangerous swarms. So it seems like I should use magical attacks then, but. Seems like the split is based off of the health they have, so you want to use a little bit of magic first. Potion of Liquid Flame. Okay, splashes harmlessly. You know what this one does now, though. Piece of frozen raw meat. Only way to eat it is by cutting it, cutting thin slices of it. And this way, it's surprisingly good. Okay. throw the sword. We can throw a bomb. We, what, could, what could go wrong? Let's throw our bombs. Okay. We're not really going to be able to lose these guys, I don't think. Light and throw. Hoping to get a third charge. I really was hoping to get a third charge. Not good? Okay. Can we just beat... Okay, yes, we can beat him in a one-on-one -on -one hustle there. Okay. Hello, friend. Kind of liking staying on roughly one magic charge. 
Look at that crab dance. Okay, level up. Um, hit me with another backup berry. I really do like that. It said there was unseen threat nearby. Um, I think I die. All right. Um. <laughs> what the heck? Intuition, fire bloom. Doesn't really matter. We can't use those right now. Am I going to die via fire? It really feels like I am. I have five more turns of that. And I have no water skin. Can I shatter this honey pot on myself? I don't know. I turned invisible because the food was delicious. Okay, I summoned a, I summoned a bee out of the pot. Gotcha. Gotcha. Makes sense? Makes it no no makes sense. Oops. Uh badges? Oh, I see this. Gotcha. Gotcha. Enter. Let's go back to the warrior for a sec then. The art on that is really, really nice. I like that pixel art. Okay. So we get what happens? How do we get our shield as this character? Let's go back to the main menu for a second and no, nah, just yeah. Let me let me look at this again really really close. Starts with a unique broken seal that generates shielding over his health. Seal mo can be moved between armors and can transfer single upgrade with it. Starts with a worn short. I mean that yeah whatever to all that. Automatically identifies scroll of identity, potions of healing and scrolls of rage. All right, let me in. Put me in, coach. Put me in. Gotcha. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, I thought that it was going to be a spike trap, but I guess it's an arrow, an arrow trap pressure plate, and it looked like it came out of here. I would have thought that, you know, all right, that's fine. We're, it, what if I told you it doesn't actually matter? Because we're going to get back up to full soon anyways blinded and crippled okay again it's fine to have that stuff happen early it's not not permanent problems at all not that big of a deal that room is a lot see like I want to throw my rock but now I'm like I don't know what to do there but again, I guess we can take the hit if it... Yeah, so it just always shoots in your direction no matter what. I... Understood. Or... At least that's my assumption based off of that. Again, though, it's not going to make much of a difference. We made it back to full HP. The only thing is we did lose our warrior shield. Okay, slowly and surely. Oh, I was hoping to pop in from out of out of vision. Should we plant this? I'm gonna try and plant it. Why not? I feel refreshed. I should, should have definitely analyzed it first, but I do feel I feel refreshed. Okay. Okay, got some rocks, rocks, Get those for later, we can just mash on that guy, I have a key for that, were any of those rats possibly ones that were from this room, we can definitely 1v1 a rat, no big deal, okay, wait, alright, 
Max shield up. Eating heals you for 2 HP when he's below 50%. 3 HP when he's below... Yeah, sure. That, that's what I was looking for last time, kind of. Ooh. Wanda Frost. 2 to 8 damage and chilling. Stronger when enemies are in the water. Or wait, effects seem stronger in water? I mean... Yeah? Seems like they will take more if they are in the water. Okay, we get some runes. Two blasting ones and one that lets us do the big old guess. Ooh. Let's try it out. What could go wrong? Upgrade an item. Cleanse an item. Okay. Leather armor of viscosity. Block zero to four damage. Requires 12 strength to use it properly. Do I have that? I don't know. Um, able to store damage dealt to the wearer, dealing it to them slowly rather than all at once. Oh. I mean, that seems really handy. I take a lot of damage all at once. That is really beneficial when you can slowly heal up over time and you also have, like, the little water skin and, you know. It's nice. We're slowly losing our hunger. Oh, God. Back up. I didn't want his attention. See, I thought that I was going to get the jump on you, but I, I see now. A foolish man I am. Okay. What is this? Oops. Toxic gas trap. So is that bad? Hello. Rock to the face. Rock to the face. These rocks are OP. Slowly. I am now starving. We're going to want to watch things. Arcane Stylus. Uh, okay. Inscribe a magical glyph on your armor, but you, you have no power over choosing what glyph it'll be. Oh, we already, since we already have one on that, though. I'm curious. Ob obfuscation. The warrior seal is attached to this. How do I, uh, so if I detach it like this, is this, this is the warrior seal and I can put it on here? I can't, though. Why can't I? Is it because it already has something on it? Oop. Didn't mean to. Fix. You must... Oh, I have to identify it first. It said in the bottom left. Gotcha. Do I have anything that I can identify with that, that? Nope. All right. So I think... Yeah, we either need to get an item to identify it, or maybe there's a chance that we can slowly identify it over time. There's a ghost I do not want to deal with. Scroll of identify. Well, boy, howdy. How about that? Uh, one to six damage requires 11 strength. Yeah, okay. And it also has the thing providing the shielding. Good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch out for the ghost. Just hope the ghost is minding his own business. Don't need to fight him. Quarterstaff. Is that going to be better, maybe? I'm going to upgrade my armor for now. Your grip involuntarily tightens around the weapon. I... Methinks I cannot unequip it. Yep. Alright. I am cursed to hold this quarterstaff. It better be good. As a wayward curse, very hard time finding its mark, making it extremely inaccurate. Oh, God. 
Oh god, it's extremely inaccurate. And I cannot unequip it. Is it literally impossible for us to... I wonder. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is a... Okay, well, this is a dead end. Boy, that really looked like that was going to link up. So now it's down to the fact that I have to actually hit him with something. There we go. All right. I'm going to finally eat, I think. Hopefully we can get some way to dispel this curse on our staff because it's not very good. It ain't too great. All right. possibly go wrong. Oh, it's really inaccurate. It's really inaccurate. Ivory potion. Let's guess that it's an upgrade potion of strength. Wrong. Had to give it a shot. Crimson potion. I float. I'm gonna... I already took my chance on that one. An uncommon freshness in the air. Do we know what that means? Ooh. Oh, I'm floating, so I can't get the benefits of this uh, this pool. You take a sip and your wounds heal completely. Nice. Oh, boy. That didn't... Oh, no. He's so slippery. I'm deferring all of this damage, though. It's, I'm. This is a. This is a silly old slap fight. One of these days, I'll get you. It's a potion of healing. We auto identify those. Turquoise potion. I don't know why. I feel like something is amiss with this one. If it did that to the area around me, you would think it would actually be <laughs> a little bit more harmful to me inside my body. Effective looting. Specific rooms will often contain better loot. Some of these rooms will be behind locked doors, contain obstacles which must be overcome. When an obstacle blocks your progress, look for a solution nearby. Whether it's a key or something more crafty, you can usually find an item to help you on the same floor. Potions of strength, scrolls, or upgrade are excellent benchmark of how well you're exploring and looting. You'll be able to find two potions of strength and three... Scrolls of upgrade in each five floor dungeon region. All right. Gaucha. Wait for this to dissipate. Crab. Crab zap. Come on. Uh, let's get back to the water. Get back to the water. Get back to the water. There we go. Uh, back it up. It's going to be more effective if he's on the water, and I do not want to try and attack him otherwise. All right. Are we hungry? We're not hungry. I, I, I don't need to use the potion of healing yet either. Oh, my God. Is there a way through? There is not. Not right now. Uh... Okay. Analyze. Make sure this is safe. That's safe. Hi, crab. Have I... No. Wait, the, it's free of malevolent... Oh, it's free now. Okay, okay. I could remove it. Do I want to? I was going to say, it doesn't feel like it's as bad to hit things now. Oh, my God. All right. Um, probably running low on these. I just know that he splits. Oh, he doesn't have anywhere to split. I'm now familiar enough with my weapon to identify it. It's just, uh, it's just after all that, it's just a quarterstaff. That, that's it. 
We got another healing potion. Jade potion. We don't know what it does. Well, nothing bad. Okay. No, I changed my mind. <laughs> no, no, no. You're right. I don't want to. Ooh, we could have had flight to get this. Oh. Uh, do we have any? Nope. All right. Let's get out of here. I was going to say, this room is suspiciously fine. What's this about? You could probably burn it. <laughs> there we go, sure. Bye, crab boy. Still don't know what this one does. Harmless. Okay. Should have done extra damage. We've got to be running out of charges in there, right? You would think. How do I do this? Because isn't it an AoE? If I throw it right... Yeah, I mean, it is. Oh, wait, the... Oh, we burned the door down. Would you look at that? Can I throw it to this spot? I can. Red is flight. I guess we could, like... There's nothing stopping us from going back up. Free ration. Just enough flight there. Not too bad. Oh my god, we have so many unspent talent points. Wee, well, I know. I would have been telling you. Well, look at that. I wrecked it so far without needing them. That's embarrassing that you need them. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe you needed them. It's called asserting dominance, sweetie. Um, does he technically count as on the water? And I know that he takes he seems to take less from magic. Familiar enough with your wand. Okay, so now we know how many charges it has. So it does, it's just like it keeps on bringing them back. Come on. Should be fine to just face smash. This armor of mine is cracked. Oh. I was hoping you would go onto the trap. Um, so is there really no way to like yeah maybe I could have like thrown a rock at the door to open it up you gonna split when you die is that are you one of those no I shall eat a food blocked Level five. Cool. Gifu. Red flash of light. Bunch of fish. Yeah. Um. Pass. Pass. Very tiny room. Okay. Don't need to fight that right now. Really nothing in any of these rooms, huh? That's a boss. Gotcha. Little no is known about the goo. It's quite possible that it's not even a creature. Rather a conglomerate of vile substances from the sewers that somehow gain basic intelligence regardless dark magic is certainly what all has allowed goo to exist. 
Gelatinous nature has let it absorb lots of dark energy. You feel a chill from being near. Goo's able to attack with this energy. You won't live for long. Not great. Seems like it moves kind of slow, but it is healing. Wait, it's not moving slow anymore. Okay. Kasaku's deal constant damage over time, but you can immediately wash it off in water. Okay. Well, that's uh, something. Floor is locked. And I have a bomb. Okay, so if I'm in the water... No, I didn't mean to... Ah! Rip. Rip, rip, rip. I want to do zap, check. There we go. Oh, okay. So it's just flavor. It's not actually different water. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Goo is pumping itself up. Get the hell out. I tried. Wounds begin to close. Get the hell out. Okay, I mean, I can't... Get out of that. Dodged. That's good, at least. I feel like the uh, the water did not care there. What what options do we even really have here? He's dodging everything I'm doing. So we basically have to move at an angle away from that, I think. Is... One, two. Yeah, we have to move at an angle. Okay. Angle, angle. It's not that bad. Angle, angle. Oop, that was bad. Okay, we got this again. We can zap. I can't hit him. Is this still? Because of your inadequate strength, it will hinder your attack speed. Has that been? Okay, well, I'm going to die. I can get a heal from that, but I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Leave me alone. Please, mystery meat. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to die. Maybe if I maybe if I switch the weapon earlier, maybe. Or realize the other thing earlier. I think I could have done it, but hey, I'm, I'm not too mad at getting there. Uh, sure, I, I'm fine with that. Not a big deal. Alas, that is that, and that's gonna do it here for today for Shadow Pixel Dungeon. It's good though. It truly, truly is. Here, let's hit new game. Can we? Nope. I don't know if this is in the demo or not. To unlock and perform ten surprise attacks in one run. Fifteen enemies with thrown weapons. That'd be fun. But alas, you can check this out yourself right now for free with the demo on Steam, or I believe you can pick this up on mobile. I think there is another version on PC somewhere. It involves a little bit more involved process, or you can play it via whatever kind of um, like mobile game emulation on PC. But it is going to be coming to Steam. This is what I've been waiting for to check this game out. I've heard a lot of good things over the course of time. I think it's quite nice. Yeah, it's a very solid, clean, polished, traditional roguelike. 
uh, I can I can understand the praise. I really can. And that is that, though. Game is going to be, let's see, coming out on Steam. Does it have a release date? Let's find out. March. Hey, well, that's not too bad. Comes out in like a month on Steam. So you can wishlist it, play the demo. Make sure you check it out when it comes out. My name is Retromation. I play all kinds of roguelikes every single day. This is my extra specialty. Checking out brand new games every single day. Check it out. Like and comment. All that garbage that people want you to do. I do want you to do too. But boy, I hate to say it. But it does help. But hey, if you like the genre, if you, especially if you like traditional roguelikes, you like roguelites, all kinds of weird hybrids, everything like that, subscribe to this channel. Really, really do think it is a, a good place to find great new games every single day. Uh, I believe that to be true. Uh, so thank you, buddy, for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.